the Keymove X Daria keyboard is an interesting specimen, and in theory, it has everything you need. It has customizable RGB, macro functionality, a USB Type C port, reprogrammable keys, PBT keycaps, a sleek exterior, and support for hot swappable switches, all at a relatively affordable price. What more do you need? Stick around and find out. The unboxing experience is pleasant. It's a magnetic hinge, and inside it includes a keyboard, and it also includes a right angle USB Type C cable, which is perfect because it's a Type C keyboard, so you know it's of the future. And it has two switches one Gatoron Optical Blue and one Gatoron Optical Red. It also comes with a key cap puller and a key switch puller, which are perfect because all of that is modular. And I'm here, I'm about to demonstrate. You use that to pull out the key cap, and then you use this tool to pull out the key switch. Now you might be asking, what's the purpose of this? Why, why do you have to switch them out? And yeah, I mean, you don't have to, but it's good in case key cap breaks or a key switch breaks and you can replace it all without having to buy a brand new keyboard. It's it's quite something. Now I could tell you the typing experience is great. I mean it is, but I think you'd rather hear it. Now we're gonna go to a website called Type Racer in which you race other people by typing, and we're not going to race people today, but I want to see how fast I type with this keyboard, and typically I'm around 85 words per minute, but 92. Hey, not bad. There are a number of RGB effects on the keyboard built in. Here we have the horizontal color wave, we have the color wheel, and the vertical color wave. My favorite built-in effect is the equalizer effect. Essentially, it has a microphone built-in, and it takes sounds around it and turns it into RGB effects. Watch and behold. Alright, three, two, one. One disclaimer though is that the microphone cannot be used as a microphone for your computer and your computer doesn't recognize it as such. And here we have the keyboard software which comes with a lot of presets and it lets you open up the presets as to see how they animated it so that you too can animate your own RGB effects. And it might take some time to get used to, but I think ultimately if someone actually learns the software, they could definitely make some convincing RGB effects. Of course, that's not the only function of the software. The software allows you to, among other things, totally redefine what keys do what. One of the major hallmarks of a 60% keyboard is the ability to define the functions of each keys. Each keyboard comes with three custom profiles that you can define on top of your standard layout. For the most faithful of the full-size keyboard user, it means you have access to every function you could ever need on a keyboard and it just requires you to switch the layouts first before you can access them all, as you can't access them all at one time. For instance, I'm using this layout to create a numpad, a full-size numpad that comes with 0 through 9, addition and subtraction, multiplication and division, and the numlock key. You can assign different color profiles to each profile in order to signify what layer you're on and also signify what each key can do, though it'll be up to you to color code them. As you can see here, everything is applied in real time to the keyboard. 
Another thing the software does is enable macro functionality, and it enables you to reprogram any key to execute a series of keystrokes. The idea of the macro functionality is simple. It allows you to record your macros and then assign them to a key. This would enable you to enable macro functionality in programs such as Photoshop, Sony Vegas, DaVinci Resolve, and even in games too such as League of Legends, CSGO, WoW, etc. And the two big parts about macro functionality, the ability to record and the ability to playback, I think they both work extremely well, but though it's not without issues, and I believe this is the weakest aspect of the keyboard. And personally, my biggest issue with it is that none of the buttons on the side work except for the record button. And I let the company know, Daria and KMove know, and they are aware of this issue, and they told me that the macro functionality was actually a work in progress. I'm quite thankful that KeyMove and Daria told me about this because had I not known about this I would have judged more harshly. But it's good to know that the company cares and the company will upgrade their software and their keyboard and when that happens I'll make a new video to address it. But in the meantime though the macro functionality just isn't where it needs to be right now to be useful. The 60% keyboard is essentially tech chic. It's stylish, it looks good, and it's also incredibly expensive. And it's also greatly misunderstood by those outside of its target audience. Had you asked me about last week or even two weeks ago what my thoughts were about the 60% keyboard, I probably would have told you that it was a waste of time and it was severely lacking in function. But this keyboard really made me see why I was wrong about it why you should give it a chance. For starters, it's a well-designed mechanical keyboard with good keycaps and good switches. And it, if it gets those functionalities right, it's basically a good keyboard. But the case that it's encased in is pretty good. The unboxing, the unboxing was a joy. The software functionality, the ability to reprogram any keys and reprogram them within three different layers, it's incredible. And it gives you so much functionality beyond the average keyboard and well the macro functionality they say they'll fix later and when they do I'm sure the price will be really worth it even more than it is now having said that though it's really portable and if you're the kind of person that likes to tinker with technology or you want you're just curious about the 60% keyboard movement that's been happening as of recent I say give this keyboard a shot and this is these are just the thoughts of one person and uh, that one person is me I'm glad you watched this video. Please like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll see each other later. Bye-bye.